We've made it through the middle part of the week and now we're going to the back half of the week and things are looking pretty nice across the area. We may see a few high clouds sneak in from time to time, but it is going to be warming up. We're expecting 70s both Thursday and Friday afternoons. However, things will change again and that's common in the winter months as we do have a storm system that will be plowing down to the southeast and this one will probably keep us dry here with that current track, but it will bring a lot of wind to the area as we head into Saturday. But as far as rain chances, I just don't see much. Maybe a slight chance down on the Brazos Valley as we head into Saturday morning. But other than that, things are looking very dry across the area as the drought continues for us. And as we look at winds, that's going to be the bigger story over the next few days. They're going to stay on the lighter side through Thursday and Friday. But as we move into Saturday, this is what I want to focus on. We will have a strong cold front making its way into the area during the morning hours. Winds are going to get up into the 20 to 30 mile per hour range. This is six o'clock Saturday morning and beyond that we may see wind gusts up over 40 miles per hour as we get into Saturday afternoon. So this is going to be a potent wind maker for us as we get into the weekend and it's also going to get colder as well. But tonight the wind will be rather light. Temperatures will fall into the 30s for most of us, a few 40s down to the southeast and then tomorrow that's looking good. Highs in the 70s, warmest conditions west of I-35, 73 for Waco, 71 Mahia, and 75 Temple and Colleen. Enjoy the next couple of days with those 70s on the way Thursday and Friday. Then we get to Saturday. Go for a high of 55 degrees. That will likely be a morning high. Falling temperatures thereafter and it will be probably falling into the 40s by the afternoon and with those gusty winds. It's going to be cold. 25 Sunday morning, 51 that afternoon, then 61 for MLK Day Monday, and then maybe our next round arriving by the middle part of next week.